In this video, we'll see how we can recreate the PNL table in Tableau. If you have tried to do this, you will probably have struggled using the default tables that Tableau have to recreate this in this format. So before we go into Tableau, let's take a look at the data that we have first. So what we have is different lines of items here, and we have our dates and we have the value on this line. And we also have a level that categorizes this line of items. Okay, so now let's go into Tableau and see how we can build a table based on this data we have. So what we do here is that we are going to just drag and drop the dimensions that we want. Okay, so this is not what we want. We are still missing our revenue subtotal, our expense subtotal, and our net income. So what we can do here is maybe add our grand total. Okay, so this will replicate the net income that we want. And since we also have our levels, we can bring that in. And we can add our subtotal. So over here, we replicate kind of the situation where we see our revenue with the revenue subtotal here, the subtotal here, and this is our net income. But this is still not ideal. It's not the exact format that we want. We can see that this level actually sits on a separate column, and then we have subtotal like this, and our net income is called grand total. So what we want to do is actually have all the items all in one column and to have all our totals highlighted as well. To do that, we will actually cover a few um, workarounds in Tableau to rebuild that view. So the first thing is the idea of data densification. And then we're going to see how we're going to use data densification to rebuild our custom subtotals where we can rename our subtotal accordingly and lastly we're going to see a workaround of how we can highlight our rows so let's first begin with data densification so the idea of data densification is we're going to create copies of the same data so here uh, we'll see how we can do that with um, excel data so we have already brought in one copy of data here. We're going to bring in another one and we're going to do a union. So when we do that, you see that another copy is created. It's called under data one. Okay, let's do one more. So we drag this, drag table to union. And now we should be able to see that we have three copies of it. One is data, one is called data one, and one is called data two. Let's maybe rename this as copy. Okay, so the idea of this, why we need three copies is because we need three levels of data. One is the individual line items, one is the subtotal, which is the revenue and expense, and lastly, which is the net income, which is the grand total. Let's create a new worksheet over here, and we can see how we can rebuild that. So the same thing, we have our year. And we need this, which is the amount. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to create a calculated view to bring in the different levels of data. So let's call this PNL items. And let's say if copy is equals to data, which is the first copy. Then we will take our matrix and if copy is equals to data 1, then we will take our matrix, no, we will take our level and else it will be just called net income where we will take everything and we just group them as net income. Okay, this should be a uh, else if OK. 
Okay, so let's take a look at how this will look. There, we have all our items here all in one column. So now we just need to rearrange them. So we have our product, we have revenue, then we have rent, we have salary. And then we have expense, others and net income. So here what we have done is we have recreated a custom subtotal in a sense. So we have our revenue here, which is our first subtotal that we want, our expense, which is our second subtotal, and our grand total, which is the net income over here. So this is still not done. We need to color our subtotals and totals. So the next step is we want to bring in the copy into color. And we're going to put square. Okay. And then let's format the color. So now we are closer to recreating what we want. We are able to have our subtotal named as revenue and our expense over here and our grand total shown as net income over here. And we are also able to have the colors on the row. So the next thing we are missing is on the header. So you will see that we are not able to color the header. So we will have to work around this. So the next thing we want to do is to duplicate this worksheet, call this header. So instead of the amount, I am going to put the PL items here. I am going to hide this and I no longer need this header as well. And then now let's go to our dashboard and recreate this view. So let's take a horizontal container. We'll put our items here. Let's hide the title. And then the next thing is we want to align these columns nicely. So what we're going to do is let's fit this to the entire view first. Okay, let's make this a little bigger. Okay, so the next thing is we have to align the header here. You see that this has a year but this doesn't have a year so it's not aligned. So what we can do is go over here, we add a placeholder to create a line on top. Okay, so now they'll be aligned. And then let's remove the padding as well. Okay, let's do some formatting here. And there, we have our PNL table recreated on Tableau.